All right, guys, try number two because I had an extra piece in the formula and I my brain went a little haywire, so let's tackle this here. So this is example one on page 228. I believe it's page 228. Uh, on the top, you'll have this set of formulas. This is the difference of cubes. And so we're gonna use these formulas if you're gonna factor a cubed plus b cubed this is your pattern. I want you to notice some things. You're gonna place A here and here, and then from there, you, you square A, you multiply A times B, and then you square B. So it, it's a repeated pattern. Keep this with you to do these problems. If you can memorize it, it'll go faster, but just make sure you have this written down so it makes it easier to do problems. When it's a positive, the positive always goes first and the negative goes second. Same thing with difference of cubes. A goes here, B goes here, but since it's a subtraction, subtraction goes first, positive goes second, and then they're always positive at the end. So how do we use this? So in the example one, they give you this problem here, 16X to the fourth plus 54XY cubed. The biggest problem is, is that these guys have to be perfect cubes. Like they have to be eight, uh, 27, uh, 64, they gotta be perfect cubes. So in other words, it's gotta be perfect, like two cubed equals eight, uh, three cubed equals 27. So they've gotta be these types of numbers or you can't do it. So since 16 and 54 aren't a perfect cube, plus we have an issue of the fact that this is x to the fourth and we need cube and cube. So we've got some work to do. So you're gonna first always look for the greatest common factor. So for this one, I can divide two into both of those and I can divide X into both of those. So going back to our prior piece, we have the fact that we can take X to the fourth, 54 X Y cubed, and we can divide each one by two X. 8 divided by 2, I'm sorry, 16 divided by 2 is 8. x to the 4th divided by x to the 4th, 4 minus 1 is 3. 24 to, uh, 54 divided by 2 is 27. x divided by x, the x disappears, uh, simplifies out to 1, and we have y cubed. So then we take the greatest common factor and we move it out front, and then it just travels along for the run. It's like the passenger in the car. Uh, with the driver. All right, so here we go. So what we have to do now is we have to take 8x cubed and 27y cubed, and we need to get them in this form, perfect form. So I'm going to write the two different ones in here. I'm going to, same color, I don't know why I put that pen down. We're going to get 2x and we're going to get 3y. So in your mind, go, well, how did he go from 8x cubed to 2x quantity cubed? How did he go from 27y cubed to 3y quantity cubed? So off to the side, I'm going to show you how I did that. So basically what we do is we have to take what's called the cube root of 8x cubed. We're looking for groups of three. So the cube root, two, times two times two, because eight can become two times two times two, and x cubed can become x times x times x. So this is my cube root, two x. That is what becomes a. So a is now two x cubed. Well, if I throw 27y squared in there, 27y cubed here, we know that 3 times 3 times 3, and y times y times y, so b becomes 3y, okay? So that's that way we get it in this formula right here. If you want to, you can put little parentheses around those if you want. It gives us the same look. So now here we go. We apply our pattern. Remember the 2x travels. The 2x travels with us. We put... <clears throat> Our first parentheses here, we put our second parentheses here, 
it is a sum of cubes. So my pattern is plus, minus, plus, plus first, minus second, plus at the end. We put A in. A is 2x. We put B in. B is 3y. Then all we do from there is follow our pattern. We square A. 2, 2x squared. 2x squared is 4x squared. A times B. 2 times 3 is 6. X times Y is XY. B squared. B squared. 3 times 3 is 9. Y times Y is Y squared. And we have our answer. The key step is getting it into perfect cube forms. Finding the cube root. Whatever that cube root is, is what your A and B become. And then once you find your A and B, you're just plugging it in, and don't forget the greatest common factor travels outside. Good luck, guys.